Within this video, we're going to continue to work through our lesson two of our Rue Goldberg machine. And specifically, we're going to work through the engine activity material makeover. So go ahead and follow along with the PDF and you can follow along with the video. So within this section, we're actually going to be creating a material. Now you can think of material as basically the paint that is on any object that is inside of your scene. So to create one of these, we're just going to come down into our content drawer and we're going to keep things nice and organized. So let's go into the material section. And in here, let's actually even go further with organization and create your own folder for your own materials because you may have lots and lots of these. So just right click anywhere inside of here and come all the way up to where it says new folder. Go ahead and name this my materials and then double click on it to open it up. And now inside of this folder, let's go ahead and create our materials. Simply right click anywhere in a blank area and then just come up to where it says material. Let's go ahead and name this M underscore blue because it's a material, so M. And then we're just gonna name this one blue because we're gonna go ahead and make this one blue. Of course, you can choose your own color. Once you've got it created, go ahead and just double click on it to open it up. And you'll be greeted probably with a floating window. So let's go ahead and just dock it up here above. So let's go ahead and just take a moment to navigate around inside of this graph. So again, you can right mouse click and drag so you can move up and down, left and right. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out and you can left mouse click on any of these nodes, which there is only one at this point to move them around. Now, the most efficient way to actually add color to any of these materials is to simply right click on where this says base color and choose promote to parameter. Now you're going to get a node that's going to kind of overlap this. So let's go and just click and drag this over and we can see that the top pin right here is actually connected to the base color. So this is our red, green and blue kind of combined into one pin to give it the actual color. Just go ahead and double click anywhere on this node and you'll get a little color picker. So go ahead and choose a blue in this case. And one thing that is very important is that this slider right here is taken into account because if we leave it as it is, you'll notice that everything is just going to stay black. So I'm going to click and drag this all the way to the top. And now we can see that we have a new color. It's showing up here and it's showing up over here. So once we've got that set up, we'll go ahead and just click the OK button right here. The next part that we need to take into account is the physical material. If we leave anything in our scene and just kind of like let it sit for long enough, it'll basically fall asleep and it won't react to physics anymore. And we can control that here in the actual material. All we need to do, simply select this very large node. So this one right here and over here on the left hand side, we're looking for the area that says physical material. Go ahead and just click the drop down where it says none. And then go ahead and choose this one at the very top where it says PM awake. This stands for physical material awake. And this is just going to keep it from falling asleep. So once we've done that, this is everything that we need to do inside of our material. So just make sure that you go ahead and save. And we can go ahead and just close this window. So now we're just going to go ahead and add the material or the paint to one of our objects. So I'm going to move the camera here a little bit because when I open up the content drawer, I want to be able to drag my material onto one of the static meshes. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these boxes. There actually are three of them right here and I'm just going to let go and you'll see that it actually changes that blue color. So this is really cool. Now, one of the things you want to be aware of is that it's not going to work on everything. It's only going to work on static meshes. It's not going to work on a blueprint. For example, these weights are actually blueprints, so we can't actually drag this onto there and get it to work. It'll only work on static meshes. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this blue material so that we can create new materials from it. Simply right click on your original material, come up here to where it says duplicate, and let's go ahead and name this one M underscore purple. And go ahead and just double click on this one. And we'll go ahead and just select that base color and just double click on it and go ahead and just give this a purple color and go ahead and say, okay, make sure that you save and then go ahead and close it down. And now let's open up the content drawer and we can go ahead and add that purple onto another object. So there you have it. Now you know how to create your own custom material here inside of Unreal Engine and add it to any of the static meshes simply by dragging and dropping it from the content drawer onto a static mesh.